Okay, so here we got the X1M. We're going to attempt to do a uh, firmware upgrade. Dare I say it? <laughs> okay, so here we can see we're on uh, X1M Pro V1.00 B USA, date uh, 18th of July 2013. The serial number is number 13. Uh, so we're hooked up via the, um, the little adapter and uh, USB to serial. Let's uh, run the software and see how we go. Now from past experience I always run things like this in administrator mode um, just with COM ports and USB to serial converters and all that sort of thing it's often a drama so uh, as administrator oh I forgot okay so we've actually got to turn the radio off uh, before we start this okay so I'll click and go and then it sits there and waits so now we need to uh, turn the radio on. I'll just uh, zoom in a bit here so that we can see that. Okay, so I'll turn the radio on. Okay, so the screen, LCD screen on the front of the radio is blank at the moment. Okay, so that looks like it's finished. And I'll just go back to the radio here. So we'll check this version. Okay, so um, it has made a difference. It's uh, <laughs> it's changed the serial number to all Fs. Um, uh, what else? The date has changed to the twentieth of July. The version number looks the same. Um, and the time has changed as well, so um, that's interesting. Anyway, um, I'll have a look through the settings and features and what have you and see if anything has changed. And um, But it looks, um, well, it's obviously updated the firmware, but uh, not quite right given that the serial number's now changed. Anyway, we'll, um, we'll have a bit more of a play and we'll see how we go. Uh, at this stage, um, <laughs> wouldn't recommend doing the upgrade. Uh, 7.3 is VK3 TWA.